what is up everybody welcome back to the channel welcome to another video today is going to be an interesting one because we're down on the side of the road so let me tell you what happened <laughs> my fan decided to come off so so we have our bungee corded oh, if you can see the bungee cords there's one there and there's one up here. Have it bungee corded forward to hold it because uh, my fan clutch went out. And so my fan is on all the time and for whatever reason it decided to break today, this morning. So we will be replacing a fan clutch when I get to town. We're just letting the truck cool off. So it's about 160 right now. Uh, we're waiting for it to get down to about 130, 140 because I have to climb that hill right there. So uh, we'll make it home. It's just going to be a process. It's going to be climb the hill, let the tr truck cool off. Climb a hill, let the truck cool off. But I'm only, I'm just north of uh, I-70 and I-15 in Utah. And I live about two hours south of here. So we'll make it home, but, and then we'll get started on that replacement so this is probably where i'll leave you for now i will get back with you guys uh probably when we get to saint george and we run to volvo and get the fan clutch and possibly a new fan and then we'll get this thing replaced all right so we're ready to start disassembling uh to get this new fan clutch in so we got the fan clutch we also got a fuel filter uh, if you want the part numbers, uh, here's the part number for the fuel filter. I'm replacing the fuel filter because I don't think they did it last time right there. Uh, it's having a hard time starting once in a while, but that that uh, fuel filter is pretty full. And here's the part number for a fan clutch on the Volvo engine. So, but, um, so to do these, what you're going to want to do is got to empty the coolant out of the coolant reservoir uh, there's these bolts on either side here there's four across the top of the front there's this hose there's that wire and then there's the two overflow hoses right here on the front and then I think that I believe that's all and then the reservoir will come out uh, obviously you have to drain it if I didn't say that already and then your shroud, your fan shroud, there's four bolts on it as well. Um, I don't know if I can see any. I'll show you those once we get. One of the poles is right there. So that's a post holding it. There's a post right there holding it. And then there's two more on the top. We'll show you that here in a minute. And then uh, I think we have to remove this uh, piece of the charge pipe too. Maybe to get it out. We will find out. So... Um, and then we can get that nasty fan out and start working on pulling out this guy. So, so, but here's the new one. So, comes with all your new bolts, your nuts and washers. Yeah, and new bolts. So. So we're good there, but anyways, let me uh, start disassembling this, and then we will move on. Alright guys, I'm on hold with Volvo, see if they have a fan blade, so you can tell this fan blade took a beating, it's broke, 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 this whole chunk's missing on this one, so... Hopefully they have one because the local Volvo dealership doesn't have one here. So um, I'm on the phone with Vegas, which is a couple hours south. So they have one. I'll take a trip to Vegas. But uh, it was a nightmare getting it out, but I got it out. I still need a. I don't know if I have an Allen wrench big enough to get the uh, the old one out. But uh, yeah. It's kind of a kind of a trick to get that damn thing pulled up out of there without removing the radiator and stuff. So, and these bottom two bolts that attach here and right there, 
or a nightmare from underneath you better have some small hands but unless you can get a well I don't know how else you do it besides removing the radiator so because you you have this big gap now but that's filled up by this little black piece of the shroud and so I could fit my hand in this side down here but the other side I couldn't so Whew. but we got it out now we just got to find a fan so that we can put it back in so uh, stay tuned all right you guys we just got back from Vegas so it's now like eight o'clock local time but I picked up a water pump or a pump for the windshield washer fluid too so we'll do a video on that uh, probably this weekend but there she is the fan so we'll have a new fan a new fan clutch new pump for the windshield washer fluid because it's giving me fits and then a new filter but um, I'm hoping this goes fairly easy so we still got to take this piece right here off uh, right there in front of the belt so it needs to come off I think it has like six uh, Allen heads or Allen for their 516 it's pipes god it's been a long day 5 sixteenths of an inch uh allen wrench <laughs> inch wrench so but you can see some of the broken pieces that fell there's one that little circle right there uh some other stuff i gotta dig out of there there's a freaking a big washer somewhere down in there i noticed earlier but anyways and then I was able to do it without draining the coolant reservoir. I don't know if you guys can tell that there's still coolant in there. I assume you can. But, uh, so I just left it hooked up and I've been able to kind of wiggle it out of the way. And then kind of lift it up and then turn it towards the front of the truck. And it gets out of the way enough that I was able to get all this stuff off. So, hopefully we can get it all back in. But, uh, I want to try to get it done tonight so that I can leave around four o'clock in the morning I'm supposed to be in Vegas well I could have delivered today or tomorrow but in Vegas tomorrow morning delivery and then I have a reload back up in Cedar City and then I'll park my truck this truck at the new property and then my buddy Jason's gonna give me a ride back down here to pick up this truck and then I'll grab the last little bit at my house and then I'll officially be moved but this kind of threw a wrench into the whole thing but anyways let's get these last uh, bolts out and then we have all new bolts for the fan and ones that go in there so it should go back together a lot faster we're hoping all right there was six bolts I couldn't see in there to see how many there was but there was six and they were that five sixteenths inch but as you can see we got it all took off um i need to if you guys can see in there i can't really see in there but it looks like there's some leftovers in there so i need to grab some, grab a towel and wipe all that crap out because last thing you want is anything acting like sandpaper sandblast and stuff but look at this thing this thing sheared apart so so that piece sheared off uh, this little round piece that I stuck back down in here that was that one I showed you a few minutes ago uh, this was the back side but look at this thing it's just melted and nasty but that essentially goes on here one way or the other and so it's been anyways it's been getting hot and oh there we go god knows what i mean that's probably all the residue that's in there that you've seen it's not a little piece there's where that one sheared off on the front of that and then if you look at the fan blades obviously the the fan blades themselves are all destroyed well not all of them but for the most part and then if you look at this side 
Like a shared that hole wide open. This one's about to bust open. Uh, we're missing one of these. The third one of those little guys, I'm not sure what they're called. This one's still attached, but you can see that there's metal shavings. Metal shavings, like it must have came off with a vengeance when it came off. I'm just glad it didn't take out my radiator because uh, the radiator, I asked them the price earlier. For an OEM radiator, it's like $1,600, depending on where you go. And then they have an aftermarket one, but it's still $1,100. So, I checked the radiator. There is um, some scuffing. I don't know if you guys can tell right here, where the fan blade just barely, barely nicked it, it looked like. But this cross member right there saved my ass as far as the radiator goes. So, but anyways, let's get out the new stuff, uh, get everything put together, which will be nice because I'm glad that I don't have to reuse any of this stuff because it is all trashed. Can you see Tank up there in the window? He's like, why can't I be outside? Because it's cold and you're a little whiner. We got the uh, fan clutch in right there down there if you can see it and then you want to put this back shroud piece in first this aluminum one and it has just enough room to slide between the crossbar and the front of the of the fan clutch there uh, you just have to fold this rubber back so if you take this rubber you can fold it back and it makes it a lot narrower and then once you got that in, you kind of have to hold this one up while you squeeze this one past the front one, the front guard. And uh, same thing, it just barely has enough to pass. But then once those are both in, then they're just loose and you can play with them. But you can pick them up, essentially, and spread them apart and then slide the fan blade, or the fan, I guess you will, the fan down in there. Um, the only thing is, is like with when I took it out, I didn't have to unscrew the fan. But now I have to figure out a way to screw the fan back on. Because we have to install it after all this, so. Um, that one might be interesting. We'll see, we'll see how that goes, so. Uh, let's get her in and get, I'll get her in, I'll get the uh, nuts like hand tight. And then uh, I'll check back in with you guys. All right, guys. <laughs> After trial and error, oh, let's see if we can get my arm out. Oh, ow, oh, hold on. Oh, shit. Ugh. So we had to pry this front guard open enough to be able to reach down in there to get those little shiny bolts right there. So, and I dropped one, so we got to go get it, but, uh, can you see it any better this way? No. Uh, not really, huh? It's about your best angle, so they're right there on the front of the fan. But that gives me enough room, as you've seen, to get my arm down in there. And then I'll be able to work a ratchet here in a second, but everything else is in. I had this front guard like one screw on each side holding it in and I had the <sighs> I can't remember the name it's getting way too late it's like 10 o'clock now so uh, this aluminum piece we'll call it this aluminum piece for right now because my mind's blank I had it secured just with these top ones here and there and then I had to take it all back apart so that I could pry on it and freaking get my arm down in there because I wasn't sure how the hell I was going to get the bolts on the front of that fan but this worked so uh, anyways I gotta go find a, a nut a washer and a lock washer that are down there because I had one put on from the side and uh, when I was messing around trying to get it to where I could get my arm in there to get the rest of them it came off somehow 
It ended up behind that front guard, and then as I pulled the front guard up to be able to get my arm in there, I heard it hit the ground. So now, go down to come back up. Well, hell, I think we got her done. So we got the plug back in, electrical plug, you got the bolts back in, the hoses are all connected. Uh, got all the fan shroud bolts back in. I'm just triple checking stuff. Uh, that one makes me nervous. I don't know if you can see that back fan blade down there. Looks like it's awfully close, if not touching. So. Um, hopefully that'll be alright, because this one up here, these ones up here, have a gap, it looks like, but, um, so I might have to undo those, well, loosen them, and, yeah, let me loosen them and push, see if I can push that down before I try starting this. It is officially 11.08. You can see that. Um, I got everything. We got a gap down there now. I don't know if you guys can see down there. I don't have my little flashlight out, but that bottom blade down there. That you can barely, barely see way down in there. Uh, I was able to get the bolts loose enough. <laughs> and then... Uh, that's all right get the bolts loose enough and uh, get that adjusted to where there's a gap everywhere so I haven't even fired the truck up yet so pray with me that it goes all right we'll have to put some coolant in it so uh, some of the coolant leaked out obviously but uh, let's see how she does now she's probably gonna have a little bit of a rough start because that damn fuel filter still needs to be done. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.